The humerus is the longest bone in your upper arm, connecting the shoulder to the elbow. As every long bone, the humerus has three parts, the upper end, shaft, and lower end. The head of the humerus is rounded and smooth, articulating with the glenoid cavity to form the shoulder joint. The humerus has two types of necks. The anatomical neck, located just below the head, and the surgical neck, which is further down the shaft and more commonly associated with fractures. The humerus has two tubercles, the greater tubercle located laterally and the lesser tubercle located anteriorly, both serving as attachment sites for the rotator cuff muscles. The intertubercular sulcus is a groove on the humerus that houses the long head of the biceps tendon, the shaft of the humerus is cylindrical at its upper end and triangular at its lower end. The lower end of the humerus is flattened in the anteroposterior direction and expanded laterally. The humerus features articular parts such as the rounded capitulum, which articulates with the radial head, and the pulley-shaped trochlea, which connects to the ulna's trochlear notch. Non-articular parts include the medial epicondyle, which serves as the origin for flexor muscles, and the lateral epicondyle, which serves as the origin for extensor muscles. The coronoid fossa accommodates the coronoid process of the ulna, and radial fossa accommodates the radial head during the elbow flexion. And on the posterior aspect, the olecranon fossa accommodates the olecranon process of the ulna, enabling full extension of the elbow joint. For more detailed information, visit the channel for the full video on the humerus.